Solar power has a significant role in the future of home generated electricity and is a popular choice with homeowners, especially with spiraling costs of electricity and wanting to be a little bit more in control. Today, we are going to be diving into the topic of solar panels and how creating your own electricity, your own energy using solar power can not only obviously save you money, but potentially make you money as well. And we'll also be covering off all of the things that you need to know before you make this investment into your home. So if you are new to solar energy and renewable energy and you want to know the basics of how they work and some more in-depth information around the things that you should know before you invest in them, then keep on watching. So welcome back to my channel. I'm Lara if you are new here. Recently I shared a video all about how to save money on your energy bills, especially as we are now entering into autumn winter and it has got very cold recently. So I did mention in that video about investing in solar power. So today we're gonna to be deep diving into that. I wanna share with you 10 things that you need to know about uh, solar panels and things that you may not have actually considered about this renewable energy source. But first of all, for anybody completely new to solar power, let's chat a little bit about what they are and why you may want them. Solar panels are often known as PV, which stands for photovoltaic <laughs> panels. And essentially that is harnessing the power of the sun to generate electricity. Not only is it a great way to decrease the amount that you're paying in your electricity bills, but it's actually a much more environmentally friendly and renewable source of energy too. They're made up of solar cells which generate power harnessing the energy from the sun. And more and more people are looking to invest in putting solar panels and solar electricity solutions within their homes, in their gardens, in a way to either combat the rising cost of electricity, or to be a much more sustainable and renewable source of energy. The cost saving and energy production of solar panels will completely vary from house to house, from situation to situation. So it's really important that you do your research at this point to make sure that they are the best solution for you. For example, do you have a suitable roof do you have a space to store the batteries that we'll get onto in a, in a short while in this video? Is your roof vi viable? Is it sound? Is it strong enough? Do you have the right aspect garden so you're getting the right amount of sunlight to be able to warrant using the solar panels? There's lots of variables to consider when making this decision. So, money saving. Let's talk about how solar panels can save you money. Solar panels can help homeowners reduce their energy costs and in some instances, they can actually make money from their solar panels as well. So we will get into that shortly. As the electricity is going up, there is a great opportunity here to make a really good investment and over time make money from this solution. And it also just makes it a lot more accessible for people because it's coming into a, a, an easier to reach price back bracket. And with the advent of things like electric vehicles, it is turning into a much more holistic viewpoint of how to manage your home and your running costs of your home. Solar energy is renewable. It's virtually inexhaustible because it comes from the sun. So we're not using a fossil fuel. We're using something that is much more ecologically sustainable, better for the environment. And as such, solar panels are becoming a much more popular source of energy. If you are looking into solar panels for your home, you may well be feeling a little bit bamboozled, overwhelmed with the choice and what you need to know. And that's why I wanted to partner with ICO today to share with you exactly why they're a brilliant option for solar panels in your own home or business. I'll be sharing all the links to ICO down in the description bar, so be sure to check that out when you finish watching this video. ICO are multi-award winning, industry leading, and they pride themselves in the production and the development, the research and development into the best solar panel technology out there on the market. They actually offer the highest deliverable efficiency of any other brand available on the market. And this is the amount of energy that's converted from your PV into electricity. And that stands at a whopping 24%. As I said, it's the highest available on the market and they are continually increasing their technology within each development. They also offer elite level aesthetics too for people's homes with their non-grid sleek black design. 
ABC actually stands for All Black Contact, which Ico launched in 2022 as a brand new design, which boosts efficiency by relocating all of the contacts to the back side, as well as being free from shading. Ico is the first manufacturer where its modules can be mass produced to retain that 24% deliverable efficiency, which is actually 15% higher than previous models. They pride themselves on being industry leading, and that's due to their R&D. They're constantly designing new, better products and striving for the next best product on the market, which contributes to its consistent outranking of competitors' products. So let's talk a little bit more about all the things you should consider before investing in solar panels and if they're right, the right solution for you. Probably number one is gonna be your return on investment. Do you feel like this is going to be a savvy decision, a savvy investment? And the rate on your investment, the return on your investment will widely change depending on your situation, depending on your roof even, you know, how many uh, panels can you fit on your roof, how, what the orientation is of your home, uh, whether you, how much storage you have for the battery, which we'll get onto shortly. Um, everything from, you know, do you need to invest in your roof before you can even start? So these are gonna be changeable figures, but you can expect to see some return on your investment between four and 10 years time once you invest in getting them installed. Additionally to that, you know, if the electricity prices keep rising at the rates that they are, then you will take less time to make your money back, which is an important factor too. To maximize this, you need to make sure that you're using your power wisely. So use your power to run those expensive things during the daytime. And then if you maybe don't have enough stored in your batteries, then use the evening tariff to get cheaper electricity to power things like electric vehicles or something that's a bit more expensive. Maybe you can run your utilities and things like that too. Now, battery storage is a huge part of whether you can make this an investment that's gonna pay off a lot quicker, uh, how efficient you are gonna be able to use your solar power and how much you can actually store of the power that you are creating. Obviously, the sun is only shining during the day, so to be able to store that electricity is, is imperative to make it something that's gonna be a sound investment. At the point of getting it installed, your installer will be able to talk this through with you, but you need to work out how much battery you need, how many storage devices to store enough power to run your household for the entire day and the evening when the sun isn't shining. Because of this, you're gonna to need to have enough space and you don't really want it like in your kitchen, in your dining room. You're probably going to need this stored located in an outbuilding such as a garage or something that's not within you know, the downstairs, potentially in your loft area, if you can fireproof it well enough, uh, but you need to consider this in your plans. Now let's talk about net metering. Now this is essentially having enough electricity that you actually have too much. So you will be able to sell some back to the grid, to the utilities. And this is actually not gonna be an option that will make you more money than it will save you. So you'll be paying more to buy the electricity if you were to buy it from the electricity company than you would be to sell it to them. However, if you're away or if you have a surplus to your requirements, then it's a really good idea to actually include this in your sums and your investment to work out exactly how quickly you'll be able to get your return on investment and how much money you can make on it. As I said, if you're in an a, like a economy seven tariff from someone like Octopus, you will actually be paying about a third less for your energy overnight. So would it make sense to maybe sell that electricity back to the grid if you can use electricity on a, ta a nighttime tariff for less money. It's all these different things that you need to do your own research on and factor into your budget. So incentives and government grants and tax relief, many governments will give you uh, a grant to help you start this process. Uh, you may well be getting a tax cut for having solar energy. Of course, this is better for the environment, it's better for the planet. So there are gonna be some taxable benefits here for you. Uh, but as I said, there'll be some links for you in the description bar to help you with that information. Energy independence is a big one. So, you know, you may well not want to be dependent on an energy company to get your electricity. You may well be worried about outages or shortages or increased costs. 
And having your own solar panels, creating your own energy is just one way of being a little bit more in control of something that can feel a little bit outside of your control for the most part. Maintenance and lifespan. You must ensure that you are doing your research here, that you're buying a product that potentially may well cost you a little bit more in the short term, but in the long run, for example, Ico has a great lifespan and safety measures, and that can actually reduce the cost of, you know, having to replace it sooner or having to do more maintenance and more upkeep. So definitely do your research on this part of the plan as well. Look into financing options. This can be maybe direct from your uh, fitter, or it could be through your bank if you choose to do that. But if you can't afford to do this outright, but you know that the long-term investment is right for you, then think about looking into finance options. We have touched on this, but system sizing and location can be really a big impact when it comes to what you're gonna get out of your system. The type of roof that you have is really important here, the size of your roof, the orientation of your garden. You know, if you're north facing and you don't really get much sunshine, could you maybe use your garden or a field if you have it instead, if you haven't got a sound roof or if it won't take much weight? Because these are hefty things, especially if you want like a minimum of around 10 panels to really optimize the amount of energy that you can produce. You have to look into this as part of your plans when you're first starting out because it may well be that solar panels actually aren't gonna benefit you. You also need to think about, are you gonna stay in your home for a considerable amount of time, you know, to get to that four to 10 years before you actually start making money from your investment? So there's lots of questions you need to ask yourself to make sure that you're making the right decision. But of course, we can be increasing the value of our homes by installing solar panels because, you know, you've done all the work. You've had it installed you can prove that you can save money by using solar panels so if you are potentially looking to sell five to ten years time then it will increase the value of your property having those solar panels and then it's about tracking the usage that you have and the savings that you're making and ico have a brilliant app for this which is really really easy to use and navigate and making sure that your consumption isn't too high and that if you have any excess energy you can sell it back to the grid and just in having that control over your usage and of course, you know, how much you're creating as well. So I hope this video has been helpful when it comes to what solar panels are, how they are gonna be beneficial to your home and if they are the right solution for your own energy consumption. Thank you so much to Ico for working with me on this. I certainly have learned so much about solar panels and it's definitely something we are now considering for our home because we've, you know, we're planning to be here for a long time and we know that we can make a sound investment now and it see us through for a long lot of time to come so i will be leaving all the links for you in the description bar i really hope this video has been helpful and i will see you guys in my next video take care bye